RJ, what was going through your mind those last few seconds as you pulled up for that three? Um, you know, my teammates got confidence in me. Coach staff has confidence in me. So it was just another shot. I tried to slow the game down, all the noise, all the pressure, and just took a, took a normal shot. RJ, you had the look in your eye. You really, you really wanted that shot. Right, yeah, I, I, love, I love these moments. Um, I was playing at Keller. You know, our team you know, wasn't picked to win games a lot. We had to gut it out a lot. It kind of reminds me of this team, you know. People aren't really respecting us right now. And we haven't even played our best ball yet, so we love this time. Um, me and Ed talked about it. Uh, Dez, Cat, everyone else out there. It's a four-minute game. We have we have four-minute games every practice, so this is nothing new to us. Did, did you get a screen from uh, Jason on that? Yes, sir. I think it was with D. Jason with D. <coughs> Great screen. RJ, talk about just staying aggressive, staying active, because you missed a three-pointer. You know, maybe a minute before that, that could have mm-hmm. put you guys ahead, but it seemed like you, you know, didn't get gun shot off. Right, yeah, I've always been a confident player. And like I said, my teammates, coach staff have the most confidence in me, so it makes it a lot easier. And Dirk, for you, uh, you have all the confidence when RJ put that shot up that it was going to make? <laughs> oh, most definitely. Um, you know, I've been on RJ for a long time, and a lot, a lot of people know from around the area that, you know, we were AU teammates uh, back in the day. You know, uh, he's always been a great player, man. Like, and y'all haven't even seen his best basketball yet. I mean, he, and the, the kid is, is amazing. He's special. He's special. So I, I knew it was Cat. <laughs> Edric. You talk about the uh, middle being clogged up. They, they did a pretty good job clogging up. On the paint, yeah. Um, we haven't seen that this season. Um, they just, you know, kind of, it was, was kind of weird. You know, they, they set a screen, the big just zones up in the paint. So it took us a little bit to get adjusted, but uh, Ed had mid-range, we were really aggressive, getting to the lane, Dez was aggressive, and uh, they set it up for me to be more aggressive in the second half and get downhill, and then we could all create for each other off that. Edric. Sorry, uh, I coach talked last, uh, last game about how you and Francisco both can do different things. He had a big game Monday night, tonight seemed like it was kind of your, your time to shine. How do you stay ready in those moments, or, or how did you prepare, did you prepare any differently for this evening? Um, no, I really didn't prepare different. Um, I mean, like, you just got to stay ready. I mean, our team is, we have guys that can play. Like, anybody can step up. Like, he very well could have stepped up tonight, you know, like, and it's just being mature and understanding that. Like, me, I've been around a lot of teams, you know, and one thing I will not let this let that do when I don't play a lot is tear up a team. Like, I will not tear this team up. So, I'm just, I'm just ready. I mean, and, like, I believe in Fairbello. I believe in him, and I believe in Coach. Coach Dixon is a great coach. I mean, he, he knows what he's doing, so I'm, I'm all about him. So I was ready. <laughs> Edric, you've been in a lot of games in your career. Whenever you foul a team, giving them a chance to close it, how do you stay confident in those moments? Oh, the, the game is never over. <laughs> like, I kept saying, we, it's a lot of time left. It's a lot of time left. I don't care if it's three seconds on the clock. It's a lot of time. Like, crazy things happen. So I just try to uh, make sure everybody stay calm and, and realize that we still have a chance to win. It's never over. And as a leader, when Kevin misses those free throws, how do you keep his head up and the whole team's head up? You know, tell, tell him he'll be all right. You know, he Kev spends a lot of time working on his free throws, you know, and, and it's going to show. It's going to show real soon. So I told him, don't drop his head. I mean, you put the work in. I saw him putting the work in myself late night, you know, getting it in. So I have uh, on the gun getting his free throws in. So I have no problem with them, like, you know, and I just try to keep them uplifted because we're all going to get down at some point. But that's what teammates are for, is going to lift them up. Edric, with such a young team, do you kind of take it on yourself as one of the senior leaders to really be a vocal supporter of everybody? Yes, sir, most definitely. You know, I've played in a lot of games, been on a lot of different levels. And, you know, I just, I just want to share that wisdom. You know, I've always been a, a leader. I've always had those characteristics. And, you know, I did, that's what this team needs, you know. I'm not trying to come in here and just be a superhero. You know, it's the little stuff that needs to be done with this team. I mean, we have great players. I mean, look at RJ. Look at Desmond Bay and Cass Samuel. I mean, we have a great team with a great coach. And in order to make the, those things work, you know, it has to be a piece that does the dirty work. And that's kind of how I'm pr- prouding myself on. In the past, I've been those, like, Desmond Bangs at my last school or those RJ Nimhards. But uh, it's amazing, man, to just see them and, like, co- co-star along with them and just do the dirty work. Do the dirty work. And it's making me a better player all around. So okay. Just, Air Force is obviously a defensive battle tonight. Was What do you think needs to happen to get the offense maybe going a little bit more? Uh, you know, so it's a new team. You know, it's a brand-new team. So <clears throat> these first three games, playing under the, under the light,
fights. You know, getting used to playing with each other, um, seeing different defensive schemes. You know, it's gonna take a little bit, but we're battle tested. And so, uh, you know, two scrimmages that were, you know, secret scrimmages. And, you know, we all, we, we, had, we had great scrimmages. We fought, we were down, we were up. Um, they were close games. So these close games is nothing new to us. And so we enjoy playing with each other and that's what makes it easy to cut these games out. But to get better, we need to, we need to rebound as a team more, uh, more collectively. I think we're at negative 16 on the glass. So it can't happen again, but we're able to get it out tonight. You've got the first road trip of the season coming up this weekend. What's the mentality like for you guys going on the road for the first time versus playing these few games at home? Um, you know, we're going to take the same approach, man. I mean, take it one game at a time. You know, we'll, we'll get to practice tomorrow, you know, get the schemes and game plan from um, from the coaching staff. And, you know, we, we're going to take it and take it, and, and we're going to go on the road and try to win. So that's what we're going to do. Anything else for you guys? All right, thanks. Thank you.